The third tranquil feeling that comes to you during prayer is the feeling of childhood. This is a personal feeling, as are the feelings of safety and love which come from our Father. This is your psychological reaction. The more you pray well, the more your psychology turns into the psychology of a child. Once again, as long as you pray well, you will have the innocence that we find in children, and this is the feeling that Jesus meant when he told us to be converted into children. We can't reach that feeling because we do not pray enough. This is the idea of the child who wants to be spoiled by his father and does not want to do anything. He is reassured that his father will do everything, but his weapon is prayer, which is to be spoiled. So go ahead and get spoiled. I mean, pray. Get spoiled means pray. But when you are spoiled outside of prayer, you do not understand anything. Unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. I bore you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Exodus 19.4 At the stage of weaning our kids, we stop carrying them. All those who have raised children know that there is a stage in which the child is carried, after which he walks on his own, and yet he still wants to be carried. Most normal children are like this. We are waiting for the child to walk so that we will not have to carry him by reason of our back pain that accompanies this. Concerning God, his back does not hurt him, so he has no problem with carrying you, even when you get old. He is not waiting for the weaning stage. He is ready to bear you always. When our Lord said, I bore you, he was talking to people who were adults, not children, but they did not feel that God was bearing them. The feeling of childhood is that you enter into prayer and throw on God all your worries, troubles, sins, weaknesses, and problems. Aren't you his child? You have messed up everything, but that's okay. He will fix it. You say, I ruined everything. No, nothing happened. He is great and knows how to act. Even to your old age, I am he, and even to gray hairs I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear. Even I will carry and will deliver you. Isaiah 46, 4. This verse means that just as I carried you yesterday, I will carry you today and tomorrow. The words I have made mean that I have carried you. This is the past tense. Then a future continuous verb is used to say, I will bear, I will carry. So just like yesterday when God carried you, and so he will also carry you today and will also carry you until you enter heaven. Then he says, To whom will you liken me and make me equal? Verse 5. When you try to let your money carry you, or your position carry you, or your wife carry you, you don't understand. Nobody will carry you but God.